Hi class, I just wanted to give you some quick tips on your week's assignment. Here what we're doing is establishing the horizon line, which is your eye level. That's the first thing you do. On the left, we're drawing the boxes using one point perspective. So you have your horizon line, you're establishing the vanishing point, and now you are drawing in the flat side of the box. Now one point perspective, it's important you establish the flat side first and then connect all of the uh, sides to the vanishing point, directly to the vanishing point. I want you to use your ruler. Make sure you use your ruler. I'm not using it here just for the speed of the demonstration. Uh, also here, make sure that your lines are straight up vertical and horizontal when you establish the flat side of the box. Here what we're doing is comparing that they're all straight across horizontal, all completely vertical. Don't have them angling off. Make sure that the sides are straight up and down. So you want to draw one box above and one box below the vanishing point. Don't put them directly under the vanishing point because you will not be able to see the side of, of the box. So here, very, again, very important, keep those lines straight up and down, straight horizontal. And you have your uh, illusion of a three-dimensional box using one-point perspective. On the second drawing, you're using two vanishing points. So again, establish your horizon line, which is your eye level. Put in the two vanishing points, one on the left, one on the right. Now the difference between the one point and two point perspective in regards to the orientation of the box, one point, the flat side is facing you, the viewer. Two point perspective, the edge is facing you, the viewer. So on two point, establish the edge first. You're drawing above the, van uh, above the horizon line. So you have your edge and now you're connecting the two sides to the vanishing point. Now you're establishing the straight vertical up and down line of uh, both sides of the box. You're connecting to the opposite vanishing point underneath. So here you are creating the illusion of a three-dimensional box using two points perspective, which means that the edge is facing you, the viewer. Now make sure that your lines are receding directly to the vanishing points, make sure you use your ruler, like I said. This is just for the speed of the demonstration. One box above, one box below. Here you're uh, repeating the exercise. You're creating the illusion of that uh, edge. Connect to the opposite vanishing point. Here I'm just kind of cleaning up uh, so you can see better the, the illusion. But like I said, use your ruler. Now, uh, what I'm doing now is not requ not required. I, I don't want you to do it, but I want to illustrate now the use of a light source so you understand the principle. You're not doing this on your drawing, or right now your drawing would be finished. But just so you understand the principle of shading, I established a light source, and now I'm putting in the three tones, highlight, middle tone, and shadow. So I just wanted you to understand that's how you would further create the illusion of uh, a three-dimensional box by shading. But again, don't do that. Leave the boxes transparent.